Hi, good day. Today I want to talk about uh, spinal degeneration, particularly in the lower lumbar spine. Most people who complain of disc herniations, bulging discs, uh, sciatica, piriformis syndrome, uh, hip, pelvic dysrelationships, sacroiliac problems. I want to go over a little bit about uh, what radiographs look like, particularly while things are degenerating. Realize that x-rays are going to show mainly hard tissue. MRIs are going to show soft tissue. The x-ray will not show the herniation. An MRI can, but an x-ray will not. So if your doctor is telling you you have a herniated disc only by x-ray, that is not true. First of all, I want to go ahead and show you real briefly the uh, peripheral nervous system. Primary looking at this chart over here, you can see the lower nerves that come off the lower back area is what affects the sciatic nerve goes, affects the lower back, the buttocks, down the legs, and the foot. The sciatic nerve never affects into the front of the thigh. The back of the thigh, once it gets to the knee, it goes to the front of the thigh, front of the leg, I'm sorry, front of the leg, outside and back of the leg, below the knee, and goes to the foot and the big toe. But so understand, it's not going to affect the front of the thigh. The front of the thigh is the femoral nerve. It's a little bit higher up above that sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve generally comes from L4, L5, S1, S2, S3. Five nerves making up the size of that big nerve called the sciatic nerve root. Realize that there, here is a motor uh, unit, two vertebrae, a disc, and a pair of nerves. And it just shows you that when this disc here, which is uh, separates the two vertebrae, when it's nice and thick, the holes where the nerves come out of are nice and open. But as that disc gets degenerative, the holes become smaller, affecting the disc, which can cause herniations or bulging. And then you will get more compression, which is obviously when it starts to compress where the red is, as you see right now. Kind of like stepping on a garden hose or watering a garden. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chart briefly to give you an understanding so you can see what is happening. In this first picture right here, this is a normal lumbar spine. You can see the uh, fifth lumbar, fourth, third, second. You can see the space between the discs, which is the disc space, the nice thickened space. And you can see that everything looks nice and uh, square. Uh, nothing is degenerative. And the vertebrae look nice and dense and nice and strong. This next one shows uh, uh, degeneration occurring at the L5S1. Uh, you can see that the, the change of the configuration of the vertebrae are not exactly square like they used to be. Uh, as the disc becomes thinner, the L5S1, L4S, uh, L4, L5, the holes where the nerve comes out of become smaller and more compressed. This phase here after that, you can see how much thinner the lower disc is here at L5S1. Uh, this is a big problem. This will generally affect that uh, lower nerve root affecting down the leg, the sciatic nerve root. You can actually see the, how much closer L4, L5 is getting. Uh, this is more progressive. You can now see the irregularity of the bone. It's not square like it used to be. We call it osteoblastic, osteoarthritic. Degenerative changes occurring in there. Uh, and obviously that occurs in the front part of the vertebrae as well as the back and affecting that nerve root. Not a good thing to have. And this is obviously the worst. Uh, like no disc spaces, look how thin all the disc spaces are. Now, um, a lot of people, a lot of people out there who do a lot of uh, weight, weight bearing exercises, uh, like uh, heavy squatting, uh, putting excessive weight in the abdominal area, and uh, just weak core, not taking care of yourself, you have to understand that once these discs degenerate, they're degenerative. It's like a bald tire, you cannot bring that rubber back. And I urge you to preserve your body, have proper balance, do the right things, and be very aware because this is your castle. If you don't take care of it, this is something you gotta live with the rest of your life. So when it comes to lower back problems, very important is to take off weight, strength, and core. Uh, proper ergonomics, proper sitting, proper positioning, and exercises are important. Uh, doing the right things, but if you don't uh, take care of yourself and you neglect your lower back, you're gonna have to pay the price. If you have questions, anything you'd like to ask, uh, please share this video with others to help them with their health, uh, their loved ones and friends. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't for more educational information in the future. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.